Heaven's California Hey guys, today we got to do another, another suggestion video. This one is suggested by Official ZZ. Officials Yeah, okay, that. Reacts to my most embarrassing school moments by Tim Tom. Alright. Uh, this should be fun. This should be a fun video to watch to watch actually. How long is this one? Five and a half, not too bad at all. So you know how Cool, cool. And it's animated as well. Cool, cool. <coughs> Alright, this one is about oh I I just okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Sorry. Uh, be sure to like this video if you do liked it. Um, be sure to subscribe if you are new and be sure to turn on post no notifications and let's go. So you know how I'm incredibly confident and definitely not awkward or unsure of myself in any way whatsoever? Well, it wasn't always like that. It's still not, actually, but it used to be worse. My self-confidence probably reached its lowest point around the 8th grade, which might sound pretty scary to any Sevies watching, so real quick, if you're struggling with self-confidence, I just want to say... It gets worse. Anyway, oh, my 8th grade year and also all the others oh, were filled with well, not honest. knowing how to act or what to do in pretty much any situation, which led to a ton of embarrassing moments that I can make into a video score. One time, <coughs> I had a in my oh, ear that itched real bad. The whole okay. day, I was doing everything I could to ignore it, but when I was sitting in history, it just got way too distracting. So I gave it a little scratch. Yeah, what's wrong with that? everything I could to clean up the blood before anyone noticed, but I didn't just pop the pimple, I replaced it with a blood faucet. I asked the teacher if I could use the bathroom, and he was like, no. But then I said, yeah, but I'm bleeding out of my ear. So he was like, no? okay. fine. Another time, fine. that same teacher sent me to sit in the hall for like five minutes. I why? don't remember why I was okay. probably talking too much. It's not important. I ended up falling asleep in the stairwell and woke up when the bell rang like half an hour later. I went back into the room to grab my stuff, and the teacher was like, Oh, I forgot about you. <sighs> oh, Actually, that was probably more embarrassing for him. At least I got a sweet nap out of it. One cool. day I was doodling on my homework in math class. I was a couple years ahead in math, so I was the youngest kid in the room, and I didn't really know anyone. Some people would use that opportunity to be charismatic and make new friends, but I decided to be socially awkward and uh. talk to nobody. Anyway, I doodled my name like this, because I think it looks cool, and the girl who sat next to me was like, Whoa, do my name! I didn't know her name. I've never been great with names to begin with, and this was the only class I had with her, but we were at least halfway Shot, through the school year, her name. I definitely should have known. But you can't just tell someone you've been sitting next to every day for months that you can't remember their name. So no, I told her to do it herself. She never talked to me again. I panicked, okay? I didn't want to be rude, but I couldn't bring myself to admit that I didn't know her name, even though that probably would have been less embarrassing. Probably. Wait. Most of the moments I was mortified about during school were actually not a big deal. Like, at all. And I was dumb for thinking anyone cared. Because they didn't. But at the time, oh, I would have switched schools just to avoid anyone who ever saw me, like, accidentally walk down the wrong hallway. Which isn't a super embarrassing thing to do. And everyone's done it at least a who few cares? times, but it's happened enough to me that if you added up all the mild embarrassment, there might be more than from any other single dumb thing I've done. I wonder how many miles I've spent walking the wrong way. I probably burnt so many calories. There were a few ways probably. I'd try to cover a mistake like that. I'd check my phone and pretend that I'm turning around because of a text, or I'd just commit and keep walking down the wrong hall, take the stairs to the second floor and loop all Remember, the way I did around that. Where back to where school? I actually needed yeah, at school, to go. I was like, I a ton of shit, I went the wrong way back. I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to turn back around. I was like, I'm just gonna keep What's going. Wrong with me? I was talking to a friend about this, and when I asked how she'd cover, she was like, oh, if I ever went the wrong way, I'd just turn around. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Looking back, I'm more ashamed of the things I did to avoid embarrassment than the things I was trying to avoid in the first place. Uh, so I guess there's another lesson for you. It gets even worse. Great. Like this one time, I was heading to my locker after lunch, and when I rounded the corner, this girl jumped out and scared me. I screamed in the highest-pitched girly girl voice you've ever heard. I probably broke a few windows. Of course, the girl who spooked me was laughing after a successful spook, so I tried to laugh it off with her. At that point, I might have escaped with only mild embarrassment, but someone else <coughs> walked up and asked what was so funny. Oh, it God. would have been so easy to say I screamed like a girl, but oh no! 8th grade Tim Tom went to incredible lengths to avoid embarrassment. Now so, what? in an attempt to dodge the question, I just laughed harder. 
I can't answer the question if I'm busy laughing, right? But the harder I laughed, the more everyone around us wanted to know what was so funny. Exactly. It was drawing a crowd. Perfect. Crap. The more people wanted to know, the more I wanted to avoid explaining anything. And I had very few options other than to just keep laughing. After Smiley. the last bell rang, we had five minutes to get to class, and it took about one and a half minutes to clean up and start heading to my locker, which means I stood there fake laughing for an eternity. I was in too deep. The longer I waited to explain, the higher their expectations were. My only hope was to just wait them out, and I am not a quitter. I laughed like me? my life depended on it. I laughed harder than anyone has ever laughed me? in the history of mankind. My eyes were tearing up, I was clutching my sides, I lost my balance and slid down the wall. I made sure the entire school could hear me. I might have overdone it. Eventually everyone went to class and I was left alone on the floor of the hallway. They all probably thought I was the weirdest kid in school. But so hey, at what least you nobody doing? knows I scream like a girl. Alright, okay. so I haven't mentioned it in a video before, but I have a Discord server where you can come say hi to me if you're into that sort of thing. I'll put a link in the description, it's whatever. And if you want me to put your fan art in an end card, just tag me on Twitter. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you... later. Okay. <laughs> That was interesting. That guy was so extra. Like, what the hell? Like, I admit, I went in the wrong way, like, in the halls, too. So I would be kind of like, oh, fuck. And I keep going because I don't want to stop and turn around. And especially because I go to college. There's, like, there's always a lot of pe people walking if I stop. I don't know. I, I would have to go to, like, so, like, this is the hall. I'm in the middle. You gotta, like, go to the side, stop, turn around. You know what I mean? You can't just, like, stop in the middle and turn around. Like, I'm gonna freaking, like, like, stop, freaking, oh, I'll run this one, probably freaking kiss someone knowing my lock, and I'd be like, fuck. But I know it's dramatic. But basically, you know what I mean? Like, that's just stupid. Like, why just, why keep laughing? Just laugh and say, oh, you know, yeah, I got, I got, I got scared. That happened to me. My freaking friend Lexis over here. You guys probably don't know her. Like, if you guys only watch my reaction videos, then you do not know my friends. If you watch past vlogs, you'll know my friends. So, go watch the vlogs and you'll know who and then you'll know who Lexus is but anyway she like at school like half the time like I'm really ticklish at, at work oh my lanta so I'm like taking an order or I don't know because I, I work in fast food right so it, it was at work though and I'm sitting there so like I'm here the drive through windows here the girls here Lexus I'm here that guy's over there working and then she tickles me and I'm like ah, like I scream I, I have a I have like a pig laugh, a freaking like a, a squeal laugh. I don't even know what the point laughs are. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna use them, it's, not, it's embarrassing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just effed up, okay? So like, all, all like when you when you tickle this, some fucked up shit, like some fucked up vocals come, come out of my like vocal box. So just saying, so I was kind of like, rrr, 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 I kind of probably sound like a fucking like, rooster or something, I don't fucking know. But anyway, so she did that and then I was like, rrr, and then, and then, and then, then a coworker turned, like, so, like, they're looking over here, and, and then they turn around, like, what? And then they do it again, and then again, he turn, turns around, like, like, what the hell's going on over there? So that was embarrassing. I was at work, though, not school. School? Oh, that's right. I, I was in the washroom. I didn't lock the door. Someone came in on me, and um, I was just sitting there looking at them, and I was like, hi. And this is the time my sister was in school, so let's just say... <sighs> Let's just say when she came back to class, someone was like, or the, uh, no, my sister never well, never left the class. I left the class to go to the washroom. Someone went from her class because she was older than me. Someone went from her class went to the washroom. I was in there. I didn't lock the door. St st stupid me. I was probably like seven or ten. I don't fucking know. What to... Nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. Anyway, I was just there chilling, just probably chilling, just like. So he he comes in, just opens the door, and then he's like. I forgot what, I forgot who he was. He closes the door, goes back to the classroom, and asks to the whole class that, oh, I saw this person's brother on the toilet. And I was like, like, obviously I wasn't there, but my sister told me, and I was like, really? Anyway, that's, that's just a few embarrassing stories. One at work, one at school. If you guys want more, I'll, I'll probably t tell you if I, if I can think of them, but that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys do like my stories and you guys do like my video, be in my, in my reaction and stuff, be sure to like this video, be sure to uh, give me a subscription if you guys want to, you know, if you want to be nice, because like, you know, I deserve it, right? Or do I? I don't know, I, I hope I do. Um, be sure to cl click the no notification bell to never miss any videos as well, and I'll be sure, I don't know where I was going there. I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out, thanks for watching.